Hi, I'm Steve Callegas, and welcome back to this new episode in Remarkable Living, um, where we talk about um, bringing you these new ideas for how to view the world, for how to view your world, um, how to perhaps uh, create a new way or develop a new way of thinking about things, of thinking about people, thinking about the way um, you know the things are happening to you, what's going on in your life right now. A lot of you might be thinking, you may be watching this and thinking, my life really sucks right now. I don't have a job. I don't have a place to live. I don't have an income. Um, my wife is leaving me. My husband's cheating on me. My kids aren't paying attention to me. Um, you know, the, the government's coming down on me, whatever it is, right? My boss is just overworking me and not paying me sufficiently. We wonder why these things kind of happen to us. And um, I want to share with you that um, things aren't happening to you. It may seem like it because you're in the middle of it. And so, Steve, I'm right in the middle of it. I just got punched in the eye by my wife or, uh, you know, my husband just tossed me around the room. Um, uh, my kids just are, are yelling at me and throwing things at me. My boss is sexually harassing me at work and he's touching me and grabbing me. And I was there. How can you tell me that things aren't happening to me? Well, let me clarify that, what I mean by that. Yes, the thing is happening to you, but if you just rest on the fact that the thing is happening to you, then you will be the victim in the circumstance, and the victim never can get the upper hand. Occasionally in Hollywood movies they do, but usually the victim will always be the victim because that's the story that you believe. It's like, uh, as I said in a prior video, when I was a kid, I was told that I was good for nothing over and over and over and over and over again, such that I believed it, that I myself expressed to the world, I myself expressed to others that I was absolutely good for nothing. Because the more good for nothing that I was told I was, the more good for nothing I became. And so the more that you're harassed at work, the more that you were abused or allow yourself to be abused. And I, I know, I know, I know, I, uh, I'll, I'll clarify that, okay? We do allow these things. Right? We do allow these things to happen to us. Perhaps not consciously, I don't go out into the world and say, I hope someone comes up and just jacks me up in the eye today. No, that's never gonna happen because I create an intention before I go out into the world, before I turn the ignition on my car. I say, I intend, the moment that I get into my car and get behind the wheel and move this car, I intend absolute safety, I abs absolute integrity, absolute joy, an absolute harmony with everybody else and on the road regardless of who they are what they're driving where they're going what they're up to and so if I set that intention I find that I never if rarely I let me say that again I rarely if ever get involved in any kind of situation um, where there's you know road raging and stuff like that or getting annoyed in traffic although from time to time I do because I didn't set the intention right and so when I say things happen to, for you and not to you, it's yes, they're happening to you in the sense that you are in that situation and you are feeling that, you are receiving that, whatever it is, okay? You're going through that experience. You put yourself there, okay? But the reason I say things happen to you is because you're wanting to learn something. You're wanting to experience something. You're wanting to to see that expressed, um, whatever that situation is. You wanna know how it is. And think about this. Look at all of the people that are doing great things in the world in terms of forming charities to uh, bring awareness or find solutions to or find answers or cures for, right? All of those people that started those charities, all of those people that started those movements, all of those people that started foundations, all of those people that are starting um, campaigns, uh, you know, all of those movements, all of those people that are wanting to and, and impacting the world, they began because something happened to them, right? Something happened to them. They were raped, they were assaulted, they were robbed, they were, um, their child was taken by a drunk driver, uh, their child was kidnapped, abused, and, and, and their life was terminated, right? All of these things, yes, happened to those people. Those people experienced it. As a result, they now are in a place where they can affect change. Had that person 
not gone through that particular incident. I'm going to reset my uh, timer here. I got to figure out how to keep my screen on so that I can keep my clock going. Um, had those people not gone through that experience, they wouldn't be the creators of the foundation. They wouldn't have invented the product or service that solves the particular problem or need in the community. They wouldn't be the ones that are leading the charge. They wouldn't be the ones that are um, going on national television and, and calling for action and, and calling for change. They wouldn't be the ones. And a perfect example of this is uh, I have a younger brother, uh, Andres, who's an attorney in, in Chicago. And back in 1996 or so, he and his family were traveling uh, on a road trip um, in a vehicle in Alabama. And it was late at night or early in the morning, like one or two in the morning or so. And they were driving through from Illinois to Florida and they were involved in an accident. As a result, their vehicle rolled into a ditch, flipped over a couple of times. My brother who was uh, sleeping in the back seat at the time, um, crushed, uh, smashed his head against the, the roof of the car as it was tumbling and he injured and severed his spinal cord at C5 and C6. As a result, he's a quadriplegic today. Now that was devastating for him. It's devastating for the family. It was devastating for all of us, right? But particularly to my brother who went through that. And he had to ask himself, why? Why me? And, you know, all of these normal, natural questions, right? But he took himself out of that victim mentality and realized that he was called or that experience was called to him so that to enable him now to step up and make change for the world. And you know how he's doing that? As an attorney, he is leading the way to create more accessibility for disabled Americans, not only in the United States, not only in his state of Illinois, but throughout the United States and in fact impacting the world because he's talking to organizations, he's talking to corporations and he's talking to companies and, and medical services and hospitals and clinics that currently did not provide or uh, were not equipped to provide services for folks in uh, wheelchairs and quadriplegics and paraplegics or anybody that's um, required to use a wheelchair. But because of his efforts, right, because of the situation that he was put in, he stepped up beyond just being the victim, beyond just being that person that this happened to me, it happened for him because had that not happened, who would be doing what he's doing right now? Yeah, there's people, you know, making changes all around the world for the disabled community. But my brother, and you look him up, um, Andres Gallegos in Chicago, um, he's, he's like changing laws. He's having laws changed in Illinois. He's having impact around the country. The president of the United States just appointed him to a cabinet that the, uh, the White House has for um, studying, you know, what the needs are of the disabled community all around the world. I mean, all around the country. Um, but like I said, it does impact the world. So that's what I'm telling you. And that's the message that I want to send you today. I'm out of time. So let me just bring that to a close. Things happen for you. Yes, they happen to you, but don't stay in that to you mentality because that's victim. And I know this is hard. If you want to reach out to me and have, we can have a greater discussion, let's do it. But don't just go thinking that, I, I, you know, I'm telling you that it's all your fault. It's not your fault. But when you realize that things are happening for you, now you can see perhaps the brighter side of the picture because there is a bright side. All right, thanks for watching, you guys.